here's how I started. I was 12 and a half years old, and I knew how to play, and I had a friend who knew how to play drums, and another friend who knew how to play guitar. It was 1956. Nobody had seen rock and roll bands, and we were a rock and roll trio. And I mimeographed a letter, and I sent it to all the country clubs, all the fraternities, all the sororities, all the college groups, anybody that had, all the religious groups, anybody that ever had dances. I said, I've got a band, this is how much it costs. And, you know, six weeks later, I was telling my mother, no, you don't understand. I have a contract. I have to be at the Sacred Heart Church <laughs> at Sunday night at 8 o'clock because I have a job there. And that's how simple it is. If you can keep it that simple, you, uh, you know, you can control what you do. Now, when I started making records, I was a little overwhelmed by the technical end of, of it. Mm -hmm. And I had producers. And I fought with those producers all the time. The first record I produced myself when I finally said, okay, I'll be responsible for it, uh, went platinum and was the joker. So if you're capable of doing your own thing uh, and controlling your own environment, I, I highly recommend it. Welcome friends, this is T again with another reaction video. And today we're going to be doing a reaction on the Steve Miller band, Swing Town. Now, what I do sometimes when I'm looking for songs to react to, I'll just sometimes just stroll through uh, YouTube or other places. And sometimes I'll go to other uh, YouTubers who react to songs. Well, I happen to come across this one because there's a regular YouTuber that I like, that I watch. And they usually come up with some good uh, reactions. So I listened to a little bit of the beginning of the song. And I, it had a great beat to it. And I like it. It was kind of uplifting. So I decided to go ahead and do a reaction to it. Okay. Now, many of you might be more familiar with this band. I have no clue who they are. You know, um, but I just know that they probably back in the 80s or 70s, you know, and um, like I said, I never heard of it. I, I don't even know the, the title of the song, Swing Town, never heard of it. But, you know, I just want to switch up and do something different than what I've just been putting out recently. Now, I love what I'm putting out recently, but sometimes I just got to change up because there's other people that might want to hear something different, you know. And plus, I, I, I always say that on all my videos, I want to explore as much music as possible. A lot of the stuff that I missed when I was younger, now I get a chance to explore it. Um, more now that I'm older now, you know, so it's great. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. But before we do, I just want to mention, I do have a Patreon. Um, I mentioned before. Now, if you're interested in my videos, if you like what I'm putting out, please consider joining my Patreon. It will be much appreciated. I can use the help uh, to continue and to improve on my page. Also, please like subscribe and share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell that way you know whenever we come out with new videos all right okay let's get with it
<laughs> nice. All right, we just listened to Steve Miller's band Swing Town. I like the way it sounds. And the beginning when they was like um, doing a certain tune sounded familiar. And I used to watch this show years ago in search of. It sounds familiar, like they the intro sounded like the beginning of this song. So I wonder if <laughs> In Search Of stole it from them or they borrowed it from In Search Of. You know what I mean? So but that that sounded so familiar when I heard it. You know what I mean? Like I said, any of you out there that's familiar with this band, you probably know better than I do. So please, please um, leave it in the comment section and let me know, you know, the background of what's going on with this particular band. Now, if you like the song, please also leave it in the comment section. I always love to hear from all of you, okay? And I do read them and reply. So uh, please leave it in the comment section. Even if you don't like the song, you can leave that as well and tell me why you don't like it. And also, um, I love it when y'all leave a lot of information about these bands, these groups, these artists. It's fantastic. It's amazing when y'all leave all this stuff. Because sometimes you can't find a lot of these things, you know. Or I have difficulty finding things, you know. Somebody help me out with a, a band made, like a documentary with that. So I'm going to be watching those. So I'm really, really excited about that. So I can learn more about this band. So please help me out. Um, and tell me more what you know, okay? But as far as this uh, song go, I really, really like it, you know? And I listened to it a couple of times while I was, um, after I did the reaction. So I listened to it a couple of more times. It's very nostalgic because it sounded like In Search Of intro, you know what I mean? Um, I'm sure you can find it on YouTube somewhere, but it does sound like it. Matter of fact, I went to look for it just to, just to see what it, what it sounded like, you know? And it's so familiar with each other. I don't know who got it from who, man. But, you know, I love the way that sounds. And it brings back memories. Because In Search Of used to come on on Sundays, you know, and I in, in the afternoon. And when you were bored, you just wanted to watch something. And I always liked. Because also, Leonard Nimoy was the one that hosted it. You know, I'm like a Spock fan. You know what I mean? So when he sat there talking about these ancient Egypts and all these other things, man, it was very, very intriguing. And I really, really liked it. Okay? All right. I really appreciate it. Appreciate all of you coming by. Thanks again and peace.